I love the fact that during this interview, both you and David are, are gripping baseballs because that means that our viewers are going to be able to learn a lot from this discussion. And David, you've told me that you never stopped learning as a pitcher, even as a retired pitcher. What kind of lessons are you talking about and how does that daily lesson of pitching manifest itself? Well, I know Garrett could probably relate to this. I mean, as a starting pitcher, you get to pitch in 30, you know, maybe 32 games a year. So that's a lot of watching, a lot of sitting on the bench, a lot of this, a lot of baseball yes. in your hand. I mean, I, you know, I, I was uh, enamored with how to put spin on a baseball. And I'm a little jealous because now we have the tools and, yeah. and, the, and, and the, you know, the high-speed cameras and a lot of technology, Doppler radar, that, that measures that. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of looking to fill in the blanks because I'm, I'm a little jealous. I'm looking I'm... to fill in the blanks too, though, <laughs> because you guys were studying spin back then, or at least you knew how important it was, and I felt like it got away from the game. I mean, my first five, six years in the big leagues, spin was not talked about, at least from 2013 to, like, 2016. It was, it was not a focal point. The bottom of the zone and locating fastballs was a focal point, but – Never really trying to create tight spin or even how to go about it. How did you do that back then? Yeah, well, you know, I, I think it comes just from the creative side. You, for me, it went back to wiffle ball in the backyard, you know, the condo stick park or whatever play on words you wanted to make. But it was always about spinning a wiffle ball, and that, for me, carried over uh, into baseball. And, I, you know, I, I always was a guy that wanted to to get as the different types of spins and the different type of shapes on my breaking stuff. And uh, I was always enamored with that, but just no way to measure it back then yeah. other than with your eye test. For sure. So with those high speed cameras, with these pitch tracking devices, what information are you seeking out? As David said, he's jealous. What do you have now at your arsenal that is going to make you a better pitcher when you go out there to throw pitch one of a start? For me, the biggest thing is the understanding of the landscape. You know, you can see where the where the entire league is analytically and their profiles and then what makes you unique so it can really in a sense narrow your focus on what your strengths are and the rest is the rest is just about it hasn't changed it's all the same you know there are some high speed cameras and there are some other devices that can really you know fine tune what your spin axis is or what your spin rate is or or you know what your hand is actually doing in slow motion as you're releasing the ball and those are good tools to use but you can't use those tools during a game so when you're out on the mound you don't have your iPads and your pitching coaches and everybody settling around you so there is ultimately a balance that you have to you know both take the information to make yourself better but not forget that the craft is one-on-one -on -one and we got to figure it out David, what would you have wanted to have going back to your career that was unavailable to you then that is available to Garrett and other pitchers now? To me, you know, I, the, the thing that jumps out at me, and I, I completely agree with Garrett on that respect, because making adjustments on the fly in the heat of the game is still the most important thing. Having a feel for maybe taking a little bit off your curveball or tweaking your change-up grip a little bit and being able to subtract or less is more in certain times when you don't have your electric stuff. You know, I mean, I'm, how many times do you actually go out there where you have your A game or your, your explosive type fastball? I mean, it, it's, 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 yeah. not, it's not... Uh, it's not the majority. Yeah. Um, it's definitely not the yeah. majority. You try to push, you try to get as many... The goal is to try yeah. to get as many of those games, recover for as many of those games as you can, but the reality is uh, you're going to you're gonna have to fly by the seat of your pants for, for a few of them, that's for sure.